Here are three things that I learned about the baseline from If You Want Me To Stay. Firstly, the baseline isn't actually played by Larry Graham as I first thought. It's actually played by Rusty Allen who replaced Larry Graham in 1972. Rusty played the whole thing with his thumb using what he called a light slap style. He even plucks the higher strings too instead of popping them and he does this up and down thumbing thing for some of the faster licks. A lot of transcriptions for this song are in B flat minor but learning it that way felt very very odd. Some parts of the bass line were very hard to play cleanly because there were these big jumps between the frets. It's almost like there was an open string there originally to help you get around. On top of that, all the live versions, and even that version Rusty played earlier, are in A minor, so a semitone down. All in all, it seems to point to the record being recorded in A minor originally, and then sped up a little bit after the fact, so the record actually comes out a semitone or so higher. You can either pitch the record down by about half step, or you can use a capo or a capo on the first fret like I did here. I'm capoing a bass. Never done that before. 